The Lloydminster Region Health Foundation is hosting its third annual Gift to Health fundraiser next month. And to talk about the 12-hour stream, I'm joined by committee member Mikey Dubs Welligan. So, uh, Mike, welcome to the show. But diving in here, what can you tell people about this 12-hour stream? So December 7th, uh, last year we had myself just run on a treadmill. This year, I've somehow managed to convince 23 other runners to join me. And uh, so there'll be 24 of us running on treadmills to help raise money in a 12-hour window for the, the Lloyd Regional Health Foundation. And over the course of this 12-hour stream, there's going to be intermittent check-ins with the runners, or how's it going to work? So the digital stream will be similar as last year. Um, they'll be doing live interviews with personnel from our community, outside our community. Um, there's some uh, special guests that will be there. Um, and in between, they will be uh, broadcasting the running at the same time, as well as they'll be checking in with individual runners on a so many minute basis to see how are the, you know, the community runners doing? How are the season runners doing? Is everyone having a good time? Uh, I know Maz Entertainment will be there and they are doing a full production system and how I've been explaining this to everyone when they say, what are you doing for uh, production? I said, I asked Cody Maz at Maz Entertainment. I said, I want it like a Nickelback concert in there. So she's going to be she's going to be alive in uh, in the stockade this year. And with a fundraising goal of five hundred thousand dollars, the event is aiming to raise money for diagnostic imaging equipment that can be used at the Lloydminster Hospital. So why is this cause important to you, I guess? So the importance for me being uh, very physically active and being very uh, highly promoting youth to be out and get active, I think that diagnostic imaging equipment is probably very critical for our community because I've needed it before in my past uh, for some knee surgeries, and we discussed that last year on the Health Foundation. And I know a lot of people are participating. They're hoping that they don't need it after this 12-hour run. So in, to, in my eyes, it's, it's a critical piece um, for the community to ensure that the safety of everyone that lives in, in our district. And just before we wrap things up here, uh, looking ahead to the future for people who might want to learn more about the fundraiser or maybe they want to make a donation, where's the best place for them to go online? So the Lloyd Regional Health Foundation will be streaming it via their Facebook page. I believe they're doing it on other social uh, media platforms. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's YouTube. Uh, Instagram will be very active that day. Um, but by primarily, they'll be going off of, I believe, Facebook and YouTube this year um, to stream it live. Thanks so much for doing this, Mike. No problem, brother. Thank you for having me. And December 7th, we'll see you guys there.